After you successfully onboard your AWS organization account, go to Settings, Cloud Accounts, and click Edit for the AWS Org Account. On the AWS Org Account page, select Configure to configure data security for your AWS organization account. If you have already onboarded an AWS member account as an individual account and enabled data security for it, you must disable data security for that member account to ensure that it is included as part of the AWS organization. There are four steps you will need to complete. The first step is to create a stack in your AWS master organization account. Notice that the AWS Management External ID and SNS Endpoint URL values are pre-populated. These fields cannot be edited. Start by clicking the Create Stack link. From the Prisma Cloud Console, copy and paste the AWS Management External ID and the SNS Endpoint URL values into the corresponding AWS Management Console fields. After the values have been pasted into AWS, scroll down and check the I acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resources with custom names box and then click Create Stack. After you create the stack, it may take some time for the status to change. You can click the Refresh button to update the page until it displays the Create Complete status. Once the stack has been created, Go to the Outputs tab and copy the Prisma Cloud ARN value, return to the Prisma Cloud console, and paste it into the AWS Management Role ARN field. After that is complete, go back to AWS and copy the Prisma Cloud SNS ARN value and paste it into the SNS Topic ARN field in the Prisma Cloud Configure Data Security screen, and then click Next. Now that the AWS Management Account has been configured, the second step is to configure the AWS Member Account. Start by downloading the CloudFormation Member Template. Stack Set Deployment will deploy the stack to all member accounts associated with the Master Account. From the AWS Management Console, select Services, CloudFormation, Stack Sets, Create Stack Set for the Member Account. Since you've already downloaded the template, select the Upload the Template File radio button and click the Choose File button to locate your file. For this demo, we will upload the RL Storage read-only template. Once the template is uploaded, click Next. Next, we're going to add the stack set details by entering a name. At Parameters, Enter the value for the member external ID. When you are creating an external ID, use a combination of letters, numbers, and or hyphens. Notice that the Prisma Cloud role name is auto-populated for you. Once you have your stack set details entered, click Next to configure stack set options. On the next screen, Service Managed Permissions should already be selected. If it is not, select this option and click Next to set your deployment options. Under Deployment Targets, ensure Deploy to Organization is selected. If you do not want to onboard all your member accounts, you can select Deploy to Organization Units OUs and Deploy Stack Set only to selected OUs only. Set the Automatic Deployment option to Enabled and the Account Removal Behavior option to Delete Stacks. In the Specify Regions section, select your region. It is important that the region you select is enabled on all accounts within your AWS organization. In the Deployment Options section, set maximum concurrent accounts to percentage and 100, set failure tolerance to percentage and 100, and keep the region concurrency at the default option of sequential. Once you've set your options, click Next and review your configuration. Down at the bottom, select I acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resources with custom names and click Submit to initiate the stack set creation. The status should show as running. This may take a couple of minutes to update, so you can click the Refresh button to update the page until you get the succeeded status. 
When the process completes, you can click on the Stack Instances tab to see the stacks that were created for all the member accounts associated with this master account. After the stacks have been created, we now must configure the AWS member account on Prisma Cloud. Let's click the Parameters tab. From here, we're going to copy the external ID value and paste it into the member external ID field in the Prisma Cloud console. Then, we'll go back to AWS and copy the Prisma Cloud role name value and paste it into the member role name field in Prisma Cloud. Once that's done, select I confirm that the CFT stack set has successfully created the Prisma Cloud member role in each member account and click Next to configure the scan. Here, we're going to configure the scan. By default, the selection is set on Scan All, so we'll leave it as is for this demo and click Save. Once the configuration is successful, you will see a success status message on successful data security configuration of your AWS organization account.